In the town of Vortex Point, you never know what you might see. Witchcraft, ghosts, and UFOs, everything's creepy. It's Kevin, Craig, and Caroline, investigating paranormal crimes. In the town of Vortex Point, yeah, the town of Vortex Point. Come on, let's get going. I don't have all day. So, you're really going to Waddington Swamp? Are you aware of the risks? Listen, little Miss I-Type all day. I am a distinguished professor, and I don't believe in your superstitions. The only reason I need your help is because the stupid local police won't give me a cruise permit unless one of you joins me. You are aware that those who tried to cross the swamp never came back. Some of them have never been seen again. Others washed up to shore. They're skeletons, I mean. That's just an urban legend. I'm here for research. I'm not looking for your primitive ghosts and spooks. I am a man of science. That's not an urban legend. And there's a cemetery near the swamp filled with graves of those who tried to cross the swamp. I bet those graves are empty. It's all part of the so-called mystery. There's a diner and a gift shop nearby. Let's not be so naive. Now let's go! I don't have time to waste on your stupid nonsense jabbering. The drawer is stuck, again. It happens every once in a while. Stop talking to yourself and let's go! I'm surrounded by stupidity. I'd better leave now and be rid of this mission. Luckily, the professor paid us a lot of money in advance. That's the only reason I took this job. Stop talking to yourself and let's go! I'm surrounded by stupidity. better leave now and be rid of this mission. Luckily, the professor paid us a lot of money in advance. That's the only reason I took this job. Stop talking to yourself and let's go. I'm surrounded by stupidity. Welcome to Waddington Swamp, named after Blake Waddington. Who was he? Another witch doctor you hillbillies worshipped? No, he was a scientist who explored the swamp 50 years ago. He never returned from his last journey to the center of the swamp. The boat has a hole in it. The entrance to the swamp is prohibited by law. I personally advised the mayor to do so, after the dozens of missing people cases we had to deal with. To this day, there is not one survivor who has returned from the center of the swamp. I have explored the swamp before, thus I know where to go, and where to stay away from. Are you ready to go? I will be, once you get a decent boat. I'm not ruining my alligator skin shoes. And welcome to the Swamp Diner. Hello, you're new here, right? Yes, I just bought this place. My name is Sheila. Nice to meet you, Sheila. My name is Kevin. I'm a paranormal investigator. Oh yeah! I heard about you. The gift shop owner warned me about you, but I'm no judge. Say, I was unable to stock the boxes of frozen fries in the freezer. Can you give me a hand with them? Sure.
together? I've got something for you in return. A hammer. You never know when you might need it around here. There's a cork in the wall. I can't pull or push it with my hand. I can peek inside the gift shop from here. Filthy hands off my milkshake. How did this get here? I don't need a poor quality t shirt. I have enough of those at home. Keep your filthy hands off my merchandise. I'm not selling you anything. Hello, Norman. Well, well, well. If it is a great. How dare you show your ugly face in my gift shop? I'm here on an exploration mission. The last time you were here, you ruined my business. You are the only reason for them to go inside the swamp anymore. No, they don't go inside because if they do, they'll never come back. I gave my professional opinion to the mayor to ban swimming in the swamp. The zone outside the swamp is still popular. I don't care. You're not welcome in my shop. And I won't sell you anything. Keep your filthy hands on my fresh water bucket. Keep your filthy hands on my... I don't need a port. Keep your filthy hands on my merchandise. I'm not selling you anything. Your filthy hands on my fresh water bottle. Keep your filthy hands off my milk chick. So, are you new in Vortex Point? My son and I are still trying to settle in. I am aware of the paranormal activity that's going on around here. I warned my son not to play around the swamp. He's upset because he lost his frisbee somewhere in the swamp. It's better he stays away. I'm going to explore the swamp. If I see your son's frisbee, I'll bring it back. Thank you. If you want something to eat a drink, it's on the house. No, thanks. I don't think he'd want that. I don't think... There. No hole anymore. Are you ready to go? Do you expect me to go on this rickety boat? Look at it. It's all dirty. It will ruin my alligator skin shoes. They cost me $1,600. Fine. I'll think of a solution. Fixed it. Until next time. That's weird. I'm all out of milkshake. By the door, make another one. It doesn't work. I'd better leave. I'd better leave now and be rid of this mission. Luckily, the professor paid us a lot of money in advance. That's the only. I'd better leave. Cool saltfish. I don't need a poor quality tea. I can use the water to clean the dirty boots.
doesn't work. A useless crystal ball. It doesn't work. Are you ready to go? You expect me to go on this rickety- Fine. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Here, put these clean boots on. Very well. Although I think they're out of fashion, just like your own clothes. made of wood, it'll break. I don't remember this shack. I've never seen it before. Then again, I've never gone so deep into the swamp. This is as far as I can take you, Prescott. It's Doctor Prescott to you, you imbecile! And you will take me to the center of the swamp. I order you! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's check this shack first. I think this snake is a bit sleepy. Perhaps this will wake it up. According to my calculations, we're close to the center of the swamp. This sign only confirms it. We can't go past this point or we'll never come back. Oh my, someone lives here. Who cares? It's just an old man. Let's move on. The center of Waddington Swamp is waiting. Please, please don't go there. It's dangerous. That's how I lost my wife. Who cares about your dead wife? Besides, what do you know? You're just another crazy vortex point resident. I wish my wife were here with me. I buried her in a mausoleum at the Swamp Cemetery. I have nothing left to remember her by. Not a photo, not her clothes. Nothing. That's the end of the line, Prescott. We cannot go any further. It's Dr. Prescott to you, you ignorant fool. I am about to lose my mind. I will not tolerate your behavior for much longer. Is there anything I can do to help you? I don't think so. All I want is something that will help me remember my wife. doesn't work. It's a bucket of fresh water. I found your son's frisbee. Oh, thank you. He'll be so happy. I have something for you, too. A crowbar. Thanks.
think this is not the correct combination. I think that. I think that. I think this is. It doesn't work. Is everything just completely out? I think this is not the correct combination. I think... I think this is... I think this... I think... I think this is not the correct combination. must be the skeleton of the old man's wife. I took her necklace. Did this necklace belong to your wife? Yes. Yes, it did. How did you get it? Thank you very much. You made me so happy. Enough with this. Let's get a move on. Please, don't go any further. I will tell you the true story of Waddington Swamp. Sixty years ago, there was a scientist named Blake Waddington. He came to this deserted swamp with his new wife. She was a scientist too. While they were here, they experimented on animals. Experiments that involved nuclear waste. All of their experiments failed and the poor animals died. But one experiment did work eventually. It created the most horrible monster. The one that lives in the center of the swamp. Mrs. Waddington was attacked by this monster. Her body washed up on the edge of the swamp a few days later. Broken-hearted, Waddington buried her and returned to the swamp. He hasn't been seen since. I've had it with your old wives' tales. I'm going alone. Farewell, Kevin. My lawyers will contact you soon. He shouldn't have done that. I tried so hard to keep people away from there. But now I'm old and no one seems to believe me. I believe you. By the way, my name is Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. 
My name is Blake. Blake Waddington. Now if I'm right, and I'm always right, I'm in the center of the swamp. What's that? No! No! <laughs> Did you hear something? No. 